Hello, everybody. So first thing to do for this 3D typography tunnel, what you're going to do is make a new shape layer. Press layer, new, and then shape layer. And then what we're going to do is press G to bring up our pen tool. And we're simply going to zoom out just a little bit. And then we're going to make a line across the screen. So press H to bring up your hand tool and drag around however you need to. And then press G again. And then we're going to make a line like this. And it's going to go off the screen. If fill is on, you can turn off fill, click the fill button, and then turn it off, and then press OK. And then you can do the stroke however much you want. I'm going to start with 28, then you're going to go back to fit, and then yeah, you should get a line. But now what we need to do is start adding on top of this. So duplicate it however many times with however many words you have. <laughs> Wait, I hope this makes sense. I hope you can infer what I'm trying to say. What we're going to do is first rename this to line yeah this is just so we can be more organized and then we're going to duplicate it four times so then there's five in total should be line line two line three line blah, blah, blah. but then after that what we're going to do is press r on the second layer and then what you're going to do is yeah and then press p to position it wherever you want so we're going to position this upwards we're going to go to line three position this wherever you need it we're going to do it like that so yeah, just mess around with position and rotation. And then after you finish that, I will get back to you. All right, guys. So I have something like this. It's going to look a little weird at first, but it's going to look good in a second. Trust me. But now what we're going to do is change the width on some of these lines. Click the second layer and I'm going to decrease the stroke width just a little bit. And then I'm going to go to the fourth one and then I'm going to decrease this one. But yeah, this adds a little bit more like depth to it but we will be adding depth soon so don't worry about that next thing we're gonna do is add our text so i'm gonna put these back up because we don't need those down anymore and then we're gonna right click this box and then press new and then text and then we're gonna put our first piece of text which is my name i'm gonna use one of my favorite fonts because yeah brunson let's go and then we're going to center this an anchor point and then we're going to rotate this and then position this over on this line right here there we go so this actually looks pretty dope this looks pretty cute super super fine okay then after this what we're gonna do is add our text effect so click this twice and then we're gonna press this animate button with the little play button thing and then we're gonna click on position and then increase the position to go under the line and then we're gonna go under range selector click a stick Ooh, what the heck click a keyframe for start and then we're gonna go forward a few frames and then increase the percentage until it's complete and then once you play it back it should go up like this but what we're gonna do is easy easy so highlight over them easy ease right click keyframe assistant easy ease and then what we're gonna do is click our graph editor and then we're gonna go to value graph and then we can do a graph sort of like this not too tight but not too short we can do like a ease like an easy graph like that we're gonna space this out just a little bit too and then after that we're gonna press add property and then we're gonna do opacity and for this one it's going to start at zero it's already did it period and then you can add motion blur of course all right now what we're gonna do is start adding our other text layers and we're gonna do the same thing for the other layers but i'm gonna use my text presets if you want the presets they are linked in the description below and then also make sure you're like organized because you're gonna thank me later but yeah <laughs> All right, guys, so I finished with all my text that I wanted to do. It's like not in a tunnel, so I have to move all of these in the right spots. We're going to find the line that's on tunnel, and it's going to be this one right here. So we're going to make this the same color as tunnel, which is brown. So then we don't get confused later. We're going to move this with the word tunnel. And then after that, what we're going to do is move everything. So hold shift and then click the tunnel part so we're gonna position this like right here right here's fine i think and then i'm gonna stretch out this line because it's not like on period and then after that what we're gonna do is start adding depth so first thing we need to do is obviously make these all 3d so we're just gonna drag down on all these and bloop so jaden effect should be the one closest to the camera i am actually going to change this 
active camera to custom view one so then we can like see everything and then we're going to look for this and this and we're gonna find the line that's on you know that oh right here so it should be this one we're gonna rename this actually to jn fx line so then you know we don't get mixed up but it's gonna be all of this and then we're gonna press p and position this forward towards the camera and then if we go back to active camera it should be like getting closer to the camera and then we're going to go back to custom view one and then we're going to go to the 3d one and then we have to look for the line that's on the 3d word it's going to be this one so we're going to rename this to 3d line and then we're going to move this up with the 3d text and the line hold shift click this one click the top one press p and then we're going to position this one upwards if we go back to active camera it should be getting closer and then we can also position it like this way and then look for the typography line hold on this one right here so we're going to rename this to typography line and then we're going to move this with the typography which is right here and then we're going to position this upwards and then go to custom view one and then you can see how much you need to position this but what i actually want to do is position this white background it's a little bit too close so active camera press p and then we're going to move this back but it's going to scale down but all i have to do is scale this up we're going to do the tunnel word where's the line for tunnel yeah this is it right here so we're going to rename this to tunnel line and then we're going to position this back so and then we're going to do tutorial that's the last line and it's right here and then we're going to rename this to tutorial line and then we're going to position this all the way back here and you may need to like stretch the line out more but yeah it should be good like that and it may look like it's overlapping but it's okay guys but anyways after we've done this what we're going to do is make a new camera so i'm going to press layer new and then camera and then we're going to just press ok don't worry about the settings and it's going to look janky maybe but press p and then position this over some and then we're going to move this position backwards and then we should see all our lines and once we like scale it in with position it should look something like this since we're starting on this word we're going to position it over by Jaden effects and then we're going to go to the beginning of our thing press the stopwatch press r click the stopwatch for rotation and then press u to bring up all your keyframes go for it a few frames then we begin the process so we're gonna like position this forward and then we're gonna have to like move it this way and then we're gonna go this way and then we're just trying to get to this word 3d and then we may have to use rotation and then we're gonna position it over here over here and then we're just trying to match the word 3d hold on all right so it's over the word 3d and then once we go back to the beginning it should like move like this la, 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 la. all right so once you play it back it should move something like this but now we actually have to like add the graphs and everything so what we're gonna do is use a speed graph but we're gonna move this out just a little bit and then we're gonna highlight over all them and then we're going to go back to the beginning and then once this word pops up right there what we're gonna do is match the point so change this to speed graph and then we're gonna do a speed graph like this and it should like match with this blue tip point and then once you play it back it should look something like this very cool very cool now we're gonna make a new no layer and then we're gonna make it 3d and then we're gonna attach the camera to the no layer and then once you press p and rotation make sure you make you know stopwatch and press u you should be able to still control it and instead of using the other position we're using the position on the no layer okay hold on guys all right so we have got through the d and then what i'm gonna do is zoom that in and then what i'm doing is trying to position it over here and then i'm gonna rotate this to match the word typography and it's gonna be like this okay and then once you play it back it should do something like this and then we just have to add a graph and then i'm going to move this over some of course and i'm going to easy ease these go to our graph editor and then match the point like this all right so it looks like this it didn't go through the d like i wanted it to but it's okay but what i'm gonna do is start adding the text 
animations to the other words because I did not add them as you can see. I'm just gonna go to the first keyframe and then add my text animation, which is in the description. We're going to add another no layer, layer, new, no layer, and then put this on top and then we're gonna make it 3D. And then we're gonna drag this no layer to this no layer. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Use position and rotation, press U, and then go forward a few frames. And then we're going to try to get the position to get to the word tunnel. All right, so we have a little problem right here. It's going through the line. So I'm gonna to have to reposition the word tunnel and then we're going to rotate everything this way. And then we're gonna move the words positioning downwards. Not too big of a deal, but yeah. Sometimes you have two problems off. And then I can go back to this and then we can have this rotate. And then we're simply positioning it like this, period. And then the problem is fixed. And what we're gonna do is do another graph, space these out just a little bit, highlight over all them. And then we're gonna do a speed graph like this and then match up the point. All right, so I think I just wanna have the word tutorial come up like right there because I don't feel like adding another camera movement. I'm low-key lazy right now. But all I'm gonna do is add like the foggy text effect, foggy in, and then if we play this back, it looks something like that. All right, and then last thing I'm gonna do before we add like the extra effects, I'm going to move all these up Oh Lord, we have a lot of layers. I did not expect this to be this much, but after that, all you have to do is add motion blur to all of these because, so I add a motion blur and then to fix the lines that are like not all the way off the screen, scale them up and they should still be like on the text. But if they're not on the text, all you have to do is reposition it. So I have to reposition the word tunnel. There we go. I also have to move these other words too because it got messed up, okay. Hold up. See, we have to always fix things. Okay, all the lines are fixed. Okay, so I made a last minute plan, but I kinda wanna have the lines come in with the trim path. So I'm going to go under that, press add, and then we're going to do a trim path. So trim paths, and then we're gonna go under this drop box. It's gonna go 73 to zero. And then we're gonna have the same thing go do, we're gonna do the same thing for all the other layers. So let's see, go under 3D line, press this twice, trim path, and then go under this. We're gonna change the ending of it, so it's gonna go from zero, click the stopwatch, go forward a few frames, it's gonna go to 100, and then we're gonna fix these keyframes, just a second. We're gonna move this up, easy ease this, and then once we play back, it should come in like that. This is cool. I'm gonna add everything to the other layers, and then I'll get back to you. All right guys, so I have officially finished. It actually turned out pretty cool, like, I'm going to add like more shape layers and stuff, but I'm going to hold command and then this is going to change the shape of everything. And I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to make it 3D and then this is just going to be in the foreground, but yeah. And then I'm going to have it rotate. So rotate, stopwatch or whatever, and then have it rotating. After that, I could just duplicate this a whole bunch of times and then I can like change the scale of it and the positioning. And then I'm gonna change the color. And then I could of course add fill if I want. So I added all of my shape layers, but I low key ran out of RAM on my MacBook because I guess this requires too much RAM. But if you can like kind of see it, yeah, I added those. And then all I had to do was make them 3D and then layer them on, you know, the layers and stuff. Last thing I wanna go over is the camera, but all you have to do is double click the camera and then you can change the settings of like the film size and i have depth of field enabled if we increase the aperture we can change the focus of our subject yeah if i increase the aperture you know the, the thing closest to it is blurred i'm just gonna put the aperture down and then i'm going to change the focal length thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna stop the tutorial right here because i'm actually going to give away the project file so yeah project file in the description consider this as a 20k gift my computer is low-key about to explode so i love you lots i have so much editing to do because this video is very long but anyways i love you stay safe and bye